Welcome to the presentation about A-level environmental technology. It is, consists of 40% AS and 60% A2 weighting, making up your A-level. There is one exam and a coursework set portion to each year. AS1 is the Earth's capacity to support human activity and AS2 is your coursework, renewable energy technologies. The A21 is called Building and Managing a Sustainable Future and the A22 coursework is based on environmental building performance and measurement. To give you more detail of the exam content, so AS1, the, the topics you will study, there are nine topics in total which are listed here and nine topics at A2 as well. In order to be considered for entry, there's no actual specific requirement. If we are oversubscribed, preference will be given to students with a B in maths, B in English and a B in any science at GCSE. Although there is no requirement to have science at GCSE, it will probably assist you, but it is not necessary. Why study environmental technology? It counts as a science A level for many courses such as engineering. And although it is 50% coursework, it is accepted by the Irish universities as well as most as well as British universities. You will develop a knowledge and understanding of the complex arguments around climate change and renewable technologies and solutions to the issues of climate change. It's very current. It's very relevant. You will develop your literacy skills and it can be an excellent addition to your A level portfolio. Say you're doing just the hard sciences and maths. You might consider environmental technology as there is more um, literacy involved and note summarising and so on. So it'll give you a broader education and although I am biased in saying so, it's very interesting, it's very current and it really helps you understand things that you hear in the news and so on. What can you do with it? Well, as I say, it counts as a science A level, so it has a very broad um, application. There are specific degrees such as energy at Jordanstown, um, but also, as I say, engineering, people, the people who study this and have gone on to do engineering, have gone into business degrees, uh, project management, science and technology degrees. Um, it, you can work in the public sector with knowledge of environmental technology and it's relevant in the construction industry as well and, and a wide range of other degrees, I'm sure, and other careers. Thank you. If you have any more questions, contact Dr. Carey and I can answer them for you.